Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Wen. Here is the question. What is the value of square root of 28 times 29 times 30 times 31, then plus one? Look at the inside part of the square root. Those four numbers are consecutive numbers. We can define a new variable for one of those numbers. K equals 30. We want to simplify the inside part of the square root. Rewrite those four consecutive numbers in terms of k. 28 equals 30 minus 2. That means k minus 2. 29 equals k minus 1. This is k, this is k plus 1. Next thing, we want to group the first term from this product with the last term and group the two middle terms. Expand the first part and the second part. First part is k squared minus k minus two. The second part is k squared minus k. Look at this product. The first factor, we have k squared minus k. The second factor is k squared minus k. We can see that k squared minus k is one variable. Simplify this. K squared minus k times k squared minus k is k squared minus k squared. K squared minus k times negative two is negative two times k squared minus k. Continue to simplify. If we consider this is one variable x, then this is x squared minus two x plus one. This is the complete square. This is k squared minus k, that's x minus one square. What do we have now? The inside part of the square root equals a number square. Put it back under the roof of the square root. Square root and square, we can cancel them. Equals k square minus k minus one. We can derive the final answer. Replace k by 30. That's 30 square minus 30 plus one. Continue to simplify this we can get the final answer. This is the final answer. That's all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.